Okay, so this line in Sublime. So if we break that down, we're starting with the unison bend. So 12th fret bending up to this unison on a C sharp, 9th fret of the high E. So we got this. That's your first line. So I bend up and I let go of the bend and then I, and my, my pointer is muting the B string so it doesn't snap back down and you get this. You don't get that, so. See how I lift my point ring? Something else is buzzing there. And then I 12 to nine with a pull off. Let's do that a few times. And then I do a bend on 11 of the G string. So it's like a Stevie Ray thing. He does that kind of thing. Usually an octave up heard that right so so 11 it's like a half step bend so we've got this so we've got this again So now we go, and now we'll return to that minor third, right? We're in our pentatonic shape, root, minor third, perfect fourth, blue note, perfect fifth, flat seven, octave again, flat three. So we've got, so we come back to that minor third. So if I were to uh, call this an interval, so I'd say flat seven bending it into the octave. And now flat seven, perfect fifth, bend the fourth up into the blue note, return to the fourth, flat three, tonic, back to the flat three. And now it's easy. root, flat seven, perfect fifth, perfect fourth, and then hammer back up to the perfect fifth, and then flat seven. So we've got... So the rhythm there is... Let's take it from this bend. Again from that bend. So all together. Again. Let's go a little slower. time at that speed. So that augmented part there is after, but let's speed up the main lick.
kind of picks up. So you can end it on that augmented line, so E, it's a G sharp on the 11 of the A, and then a major third up. I think that's what they're doing on the 